Audio Jungle. Now, <clears throat> for the 1D flow, if you say 1D flow, so 1D flow means what? It's the velocity which is u and u will be the function of only x direction rest by z or 0. Uh, similarly, we, if you talk about the 1D flow, so at the same time, if you talk about the v, so v is nothing but that 1D may be in any direction, may be in x direction, may be in y direction, may be in z direction. Uh, it can be anything. So, if it is in x direction, then uh, u will be the function of x, comma, uh, rest others will be 0, 0. And at the same time, if velocity, it is 1D, but it is, you are talking about the y direction, then only velocity in y direction component will come, A rest will be 0. Okay, so in this way you can uh, relate 1D, 2D and 3D flow. Now if you say, I am talking at the same time, I am talking along X. So our Y component, uh, our V component, that will be 0. So you can say this and similarly, omega also it is 0. This is what 1D flow. Okay, but it doesn't mean only U will be exist. It can be anything or like here, like this I can write or we can write V is the function of v is the function of 0 comma y comma 0 okay and rest at the same time u will be 0 and w will be 0 this is also 1d flow or similarly you can write for the omega also it's your choice but what is the mean of 2d flow what is the mean of 2d flow 2d flow means at the at one time at least two uh, coordinates should be covered Meaning, it's very clear, u must be a function of uh, x, comma, y, and then next will be 0. Okay. Then, v you can write, v you can write, again, f to x, comma, y, and then this will be 0. But what about omega? It will be 0. But it, it doesn't mean only every time omega will be 0. Any two coordinates you can take. You can take u and w. You can take v and w. So, at least one dimension means you can take x, y and z will be 0 or you can take x, 0 and y, z will, will be uh, defined value. Okay. So, in this way you can define, uh, in, in this way you can define the 2D flow. What about the 3D flow? Uh, if, if somebody have doubt, then again one more I can write. You can write here u is equal to function of x, comma, uh, 0, comma, z then other will be f2 which is nothing but x comma 0 comma z so u and w is what either defined and v becomes y direction it becomes 0 so this will also be 2d so that two two pair combination you can take like here you have taken x y combination sorry here you have taken x y combination and in next you have uh, taken this is the x y combination here see this is the x y combination and here you have taken x z combination or you can also take y z combination it's your choice so this is 2d flow what is the mean of 3d flow so in in 3d flow if you talk then all all coordinates should be covered uh, that is called space space coordinate uh, whatever we have written here this is called space coordinates This is called space coordinate. No? So, if you are talking about the 3D flow, then definitely in 3D flow, the example is u is the function of f1. All space coordinates means three space coordinates you have to write v, x, y, z, w. This is called 3D flow. That's the mean of 3D flow. Okay, examples are very simple. It's like flow in river. So flow in river, it is in it is it is what it is uh, the 3D flow. 
how because it is going in this direction also this is the depth depth also there in river and obviously in x and y coordinates both will be there no? if you talk about this is suppose a surface so this is what x coordinate this is the y coordinate and this will be the z which is nothing but depth uh, depth you can define this is the depth now like this so obviously like this so depth will also be there right so x y and z all three directions so it's a river flow river flow is nothing but 3d flow in this way you can understand if you remove the thickness only x y so it becomes 2d flow yes or no if depth you remove z you remove then only x y plane it becomes 2d flow like a uh, you might have heard thin film there is the flow very thin film so thin film if you consider so it's a rectangular suppose you taken shape then it will be x y coordinate it can be any shape x a rectangle or i square any take anything you can take but if you take suppose in case of very a small diameter pipe so in that case only along uh, suppose very is just like a, your uh, diameter of your hair uh, diameter of your hair so you can consider very very small diameter it's very small diameter and in that time if flow will possible then it will be along the length of the uh, along the length of the pipe if i am saying that diameter is from suppose very small it's like your hair diameter now you take hair and you just see what is the diameter it's very small so there will not be chance uh, to flow the fluid in any other direction only one direction it will be along the length becomes 1d flow so 1 1d 2d 3d hope you understood okay and uh, as, as another example also 1d flow like if you are taking flow between a parallel plates okay so when the possibility is what only in one direction becomes 1d so this is the examples and this is the mean of 3d flow as i have explained we have coordinate system space coordinate similarly we have one more coordinate which is nothing but time coordinate along the time is also one dimension right time is also one direction so now you will talk about the a uh, coordinate system if you talk about coordinate so we are saying 3d system but in 3d system we have a uh, space and time these are the coordinates along the time also the flow is possible uh, why i am saying along the time along the time means suppose now it's a two second then after four second after 10 second like uh, till what time period the flow is what possible so time is also one dimension you can say time is also one dimension so once you talk about the uh, any any velocity component so that will be the function of space and time just like uh, for 3d here complete 3d flow here i have uh, given in first page i had written q is the function of space and time this is the complete uh, complete uh, statement for the 3d flow because in 3d flow it's not like only x y z time also you have to say time is one dimension similarly v f2 is also the function of space and time and similarly omega it's nothing but f3 space and but you, are, you can remove time also you can make time but once you remove the time it becomes steady flow steady means it will not time it will not be dependent on time so it becomes steady so now we are going to write the velocity and acceleration concept and obviously both we have to take we have to take a space as well as time variation right up to here it's clear now i'm interested about for this system i'm interested about the velocity and acceleration so <clears throat> now what will be the resultant velocity now here what will be resultant velocity because if you check in vector form resultant velocity is nothing but v resultant velocity it is in x direction it is in y direction and it is in z direction right x y z x y z it's a 
W, U and V. Right. If you write the resultant velocity, so it's a mod of this velocity vector. What is that value? It's nothing but U square plus V square plus W square. This is what resultant velocity. Okay. This is the resultant velocity V. All right. But what about the uh, acceleration? So as you have seen, we dimension X, Y, Z. So definitely will have acceleration because acceleration is also a vector quantity. So for acceleration, we can write in all three directions. Acceleration. Okay. So now just concentrate here because this is important now. If you talk about the acceleration, so acceleration is what simply AX. It is nothing but du by dt. Very simple because you are talking about we have a three co three D coordinate system x, y, z. Here velocity w, here velocity u, and here velocity v. If you are talking about acceleration, so what is the velocity? Because in x direction, a x for acceleration in x direction. Acceleration in x direction. Acceleration in y direction, acceleration in z direction. What is the acceleration in x direction? So whatever the velocity in x direction per unit time, because acceleration is nothing but a velocity per unit time or rate of change of velocity in that particular direction. Like here we are finding acceleration in x direction, so it should be velocity rate of change of velocity in x direction. So what is the rate of change of velocity? The velocity will be u. So rate means du by dt. Uh, anything which changing with respect to time, it becomes a rate. The rate of change of velocity, that is du by dt, becomes acceleration in x direction. Similarly, what is the velocity? Uh, what is the acceleration in y direction? So it will be e v by dt. Similarly, if I say what is the acceleration in z direction, it becomes a dw by. Dt. So what is the acceleration? Acceleration will be a x i. A Y J plus A Z K. This is nothing but acceleration for 3D system. This is the acceleration for 3D system, right? Acceleration for 3D system. A X I plus A Y J plus A Z K. Now, if I ask what is the resultant velocity? So, resultant velocity means you have to take mod. This is nothing but A resultant and it is what ax square plus ay square plus az square take root of it this is the resultant acceleration all right now the point is how to calculate ax because if you check u is also the function of u is also the function of x y z and t uh, u is also the function of x, y, z and t. And again, if you are writing the acceleration, so acceleration is du by dt. So it becomes partial derivative or not? Yes, it becomes partial derivative. So du by dt because u is also the function of x, y, z. So this du by dt which is nothing but acceleration in x direction. Now here we have to <laughs> go for the manipulation and this you need to remember. Okay. This you need to remember. So coming to the points, d u so just see here. Use the mathematics. U is the function of x, y, z, and t, which is the function of space and time. Now, if you, I I ask you, what is the total change in u? So you have to say total change in u. It's because of x. It's because of y. Because of z, and because of time t, right? So how to write this? How you will write? You will write do u by do x into dx. This is the change because of in direction of x. Similarly, change in y direction. Similarly, change in z direction. Right? And and obviously we have to write its change 
it's a change because of the du by dt into dt because of the time also this is the du now if i say what is the acceleration what is the acceleration in x direction i can write the equation now ax so it becomes du by dt okay du by dt now see so du by dt means do u by do x dx by dt this dt i am writing outside the bracket and bracket value is what as it is plus do u by do t into dt now you tell me everybody just focus here here like this is what x coordinate this is what y coordinate and this is what z coordinate x y z now any uh, element any x small distance you can take dx and a small time period you can write dt okay so if i say what is dx by dt so it's a distance by time that will be velocity and what velocity that will be the velocity in x direction what is the component u similarly here also one is small part you can take you can say dy by dt this is the velocity in y direction what is the component in y direction it's v similarly here one small element you can take and you can say dz by dt then what is the dz by dt that is velocity in z direction which is nothing but w so now it's very clear u is equal to you can write dx by dt v is equal to you can write dy by dt and w is equal to you can write dz by dt all right now see dx by dt here you can place d by by dt value here you can place dz by dt you can place here now so what ultimately what you will get i'm again going to write this equation please focus so it's nothing but ax is equal to du by dt and now your equation will be c it's nothing but du by dx du by dx into dx by dt see this ds by dt so what is the dx by dt u what is dy by dt it's v what is dz by dt it's i will replace this so it's nothing but u plus plus similarly you can write uh inside bracket what is that it's a du by dy it's a du by dy and outside bracket is nothing but dy by dt which becomes v similarly again do u by do z outside the bracket it is dz by dt it's nothing but w plus c dt and uh, if you divide uh, this was sorry i think i forget to write dt here also no? because we are dividing dt everywhere so it's do u by do t into dt again you have just like here do dz by dt you have written here also so dt dt cancel out what you will get you will get only do u by do t now we check now uh, this ax can we write it's like u do u by do x plus v do u by do y plus w do u by do z plus do u by do t and the same way <coughs> this is the acceleration in x direction similarly similarly can we write similarly can we write uh, acceleration in y direction acceleration in y direction if you write acceleration in y direction so where is u derivative like do u by do x do u by do y do u by do z and do u by do t so this u will be replaced by velocity in y direction component which is v rest everything will be same you, if you are if you are interested you can uh, repeat the same process like here you just write dv then it will be dv by dx into dx dv by dy into dy dv by dz uh, into dz and dv by dt into dt like you have to write then ay will be dv by dt 
if you are interested okay one more step i will do otherwise uh, here only you can understand so this uh, equation will be dv uh, sorry dou b by dou x plus this will be dou b by dou y plus dou b by dou z plus dou b by dou t and uh, x y and this will be z no? acceleration in z direction it's nothing but u dou w by dou x v dou w by dou y plus dou w by dou z plus dou w by dou it can be increment it can be decrement that's the mean of change right then that acceleration called as a convective acceleration position the change of position means in change with respect to x y z direction right similarly if you talk about the uh, acceleration if you talk about the acceleration uh, if you talk about the local acceleration then here uh, the rate of change of the rate of change of velocity with respect to time with respect to time at a given point at a given point in a flow field in a flow field then it will be called as a local acceleration so here everywhere uh, everywhere this part this part and this part okay this is called this is called convective acceleration convective acceleration and this is called local acceleration local acceleration right now if you <clears throat> talk about the convective acceleration and local acceleration so one very interesting uh, uh study you will have now what is the interesting study any fluid property which is changing with respect to the space which is changing with respect to the uh, position especially velocity if velocity is what changing with respect to x y z direction then that velocity uh, will be defined one kind of flow what is that it's a uniform and non-uniform velocity if you check the definition of uniform velocity and non-uniform velocity so uniform velocity means if velocity is what not changing with respect to space with respect to position means if velocity is not changing with respect to x y z such type of velocity called as uniform velocity and also you know you heard about the steady flow what is the steady flow steady flow is the flow of particles when velocity is not changing with respect to time called steady flow Similarly, we have a unsteady flow. Unsteady flow means if velocity is what changing with respect to time called unsteady flow. And we also have a non-uniform flow. What is the non-uniform flow? Non-uniform flow means if velocity is changing with respect to space, changing with respect to position, changing with respect to x, y, z, with respect to x, y, and z then that velocity will be called as a non-uniform velocity so based on this analysis we have a very good table that table you need to remember dear because it's very important this type of question in examination they are asking for one marks or two marks okay one very special you got acceleration you can write for the 3d acceleration is now ax ay az in x y z direction respectively so resultant acceleration you can right 
रूट ऑफ ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ए वाई स्क्वायर प्लस ए जेड स्क्वायर दिस इज द मैथमेटिकल एनालिसिस दिस यू कैन कैलकुलेट एंड वेरी सिंपल इफ क्वेश्चन विल कम देन दैट डेरिवेटिव एंड ऑल इट विल कम समथिंग लाइक यू कैन शॉर्ट द इक्वेशन सो डोंट थिंक दिस बिग बिग इक्वेशन विल कम नो इट्स वेरी शॉर्ट वेरी शॉर्ट इक्वेशन सो विद इन टू मिनट यू कैन सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ओके नंबर वन नंबर टू दिस टाइप ऑफ थीरी इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिलेटेड टू कन्वेक्टिव एक्सेलेशन एंड लोकल एक्सेलेशन so if you uh, go for the convective acceleration so based on this based on this analysis uh, we have a table and that table is what something like this see this is very important okay check now this is nothing but the type of type of flow better i will write here here it is nothing but right and uh, we can say this is nothing but type of flow we have here steady and uniform flow then we'll have steady and non uniform flow then we have a unsteady and uniform flow okay similarly we have unsteady and non uniform now based on this we can segregate this uh basically uh this is what right and here also uh this is called a total acceleration this is called total acceleration this total acceleration is what basically divided in two parts which is called local which is called local acceleration local acceleration and convective acceleration right now <clears throat> you have to check if it is if it is the steady flow and uniform flow if it is steady and uniform flow so if it is a steady flow means if it is a steady flow here see everywhere for a steady flow any variation with respect to time becomes a zero so do u by do t will be zero for a steady flow do u by do t will be zero for a steady flow do w by do t zero for a steady flow so if it is a steady flow then your local acceleration will be zero i can write here for steady flow for steady flow you have do u by do t is zero for steady flow so means what is do u by do t it's a local acceleration so once there is the steady flow local acceleration will be zero once there is the steady flow local acceleration will be zero right 
वट इज द मीन ऑफ कन्वेक्टिव एक्सेलरेशन कन्वेक्टिव एक्सेलरेशन मीन्स एनी वेन चेंज ऑफ वेलॉसिटी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू स्पेस विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू पोजिशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू लोकेशन कॉल्ड कन्वेक्टिव एक्सेलरेशन वट इज द यूनिफॉर्म फ्लो तो फॉर यूनिफॉर्म फ्लो वट इज द यूनिफॉर्म फ्लो इफ यू रिमेम्बर यूनिफॉर्म फ्लो मीन्स दैट वेलॉसिटी इज वॉट नॉट चेंजिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू लेंथ तो डो यू बाई डो एक्स विल बी जीरो Similarly, any any quantity. If you are talking about v, then v also do v y do x will be zero or do v y do y. Huh? So meaning is, if any change of velocity with respect to space, length, position, distance, then uh, it will be called. If, if 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 change is there, then it is called non-uniform velocity. And if there is no change, like do v y do x becomes zero. Huh? There is no change means do u by two x becomes zero, or you can say do u by derivative with respect to space, time, uh, distance, location. If it becomes zero, derivative becomes zero, then it will be uniform. Very basic definition. So it's very clear. Uh, convective acceleration uh, for the uniform flow will also be zero. Similarly, for non-uniform, it will not be zero. Yes or no? It will not be zero for non-uniform. So. uh non 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 zero means what it means uh for the uh, non uniform flow convective acceleration will exist you can say like this for no not zero means what it will exist for unsteady flow local acceleration will exist because it will not be zero and for uniform flow convective acceleration will be zero because uniform flow means any change of velocity with respect to x y z becomes zero so uniform ex convective acceleration will be zero for unsteady and non uh, non uniform both acceleration will exist like this only right so always remember uh, this type of uh, analysis this is very important it was missing actually so i thought because it's a very short very simple <laughs> but my duty to complete all things because question for one marks they are asking from here i have checked the paper recently also they have asked it's very important for that reason i thought to explain today done